What's up, guys? Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for September 7th. 2021 so we have a little bit more information we got some confirmation about some events going live this week we have more confirmations of what we need to save for the mid autumn event if you guys didn't check it out i had a video earlier this weekend that we talked about it and it does look like we have confirmation now exactly what we need for that event barry was right as always uh we also have next week's event coming up so make sure you guys take one second hit that subscribe button and let's jump right into it So let's first start off with the in-game event preview. So of course, Imps Adventures coming up. Make sure you save up those 4,500 gems. Uh, there's no bonus rewards this week, but of course, getting to that magic 200 star number is going to be really important to get that five star hero chest non light and dark you could high roll and get the light and dark one you never know but i mean hopefully hopefully they improve imps adventure soon that's kind of my suggestion but hey is what it is we of course have the shelter mission that is pretty solid so unimax not that great eloise amazing pickup no matter where you are on your account you could always build an eloise early game she's like god tier end game she has tons of uses in tower of dream pvp she's just really solid you might even need her you know for sea land 21 to 25 because you cannot really use ticks as your main carry in sea land 21 to 25 we also have olivia olivia is really a okay hero but then she really shines against void arc bosses she's really really good there so if you need some help for void arc bosses she's definitely a pickup and then we got delacium delacium's the answer to delacium cheese for pve he's the answer for void arc not void arc realms gate because four of them with an ithaca basically delacium army again in void arc is the way to get the vanquisher one keep saying void arc void vortex so he's definitely great now this is the first time i would maybe consider going after the carry but 2000 gems is really steep for one hero copy so you got to play it really smart and then trashy lago just don't go for her now we also have the second week of great dwarves blessing so right here Make sure you are trying to forge three of these every single week because we will be having the Celestial Island update coming this week, which means you'll be getting bonuses for every set of gear you have, or rather every set of gear is going to give you points towards bigger and bigger bonuses. So definitely try to make three suits every single month. If you can, it does require a lot of gear, so be prepared. But hopefully that is good, the plan. Now we got a couple things to talk about about this week coming up because there's some big, big game modes coming our way. So first up, actually coming before the update, this looks like it's coming on Wednesday. We are going to have the Celestial Island update. So that's going to include things like the two towers or turning into just two towers instead of three for each faction. You'll get refunded everything for that. You're going to have all these new houses that we're going to be talking about. We have a brand new game mode that's going to let you put a V4 hero in, put other 10 star plus heroes in, and then give them a buff that's then going to give your whole team a buff. There's a lot of cool things coming your way, so definitely stay tuned for that. We're probably going to have a separate video breaking down the entire event so you guys know what is what. Um, it's coming next week, so that's not next week, this week. It's coming tomorrow is what I should say on the 8th of September it should be going live now I don't know what time if that means is going that time during the day at reset we'll just have to see what time but that is going to be the first mode that we're getting this week the other one we should be getting is Sealand as well although they haven't talked about it so maybe they're delaying it but we were supposed to get Sealand and Celestial Island at the same time so if I had to guess I would say they're both coming this week at some time Next up, we have to talk about the next monster coming to the game. I believe they named it Mahes after like the Egyptian uh, lion type god, so to speak. So yeah, it kind of looks like Simba right here, right? But I mean, it, it, it's basically a lion is the concept art that we have here. This isn't, of course, the final design. This is the concept art behind it. 
We are going to get this later this month. We don't know exactly when, but I really hope we get spoilers for the abilities that the lion has very soon. Last time we had a new pet come out was the Phoenix, and the Phoenix was ridiculously strong at the time. He still is one of the best pets to go for in the early game. I'm really intrigued to see what this one is. Is it going to be a PvP pet? Is it going to be something maybe geared towards the new difficult game modes? We'll have to see. Now, as a follow-up to my video I did this weekend of save, save, save. Yes, save tons of stuff. There's a lot of important stuff that you need. But the Mid-Autumn Festival, it should be coming not this week coming up, but the week after. And the week after is going to be a Profit Orb summoning event. So if you didn't see the save video and you're only watching this one, go check it out. Click the link up there. But just in case you don't feel like it, you need to be saving Profit Orbs like we said. So try to get to four loops at the very least, which is 320 but do not use those arena tokens if you have not unlocked the arena avatars yet you got to kind of weigh your options whether they're worth the profit orbs or the avatars for the upcoming celestial island update so there's a lot of decisions you might want to just check out that video um, and then also it says do not open any five stars so what I recommend is don't do your four star shard summonings and fusings just yet don't use your five star shards Keep some in your bag. Um, typically, these, these events, you require you to get 20 to 30 five-star heroes during the event. But I mean, if you're using your profit orbs anyway, that shouldn't be a problem. But just in case you don't have enough profit orbs, make sure you're saving these up so you get the bonus rewards. Two big events this, this month. We have the Vest event, which is great. Well, actually, I guess that was last month. Within a month of each other. <laughs> Mid Autumn Festival is usually very good. So save the profit orbs. Save the five stars. And of course, later this month, it sounds like in a week or two, we are going to getting the, going to be getting the third batch of Void imprinted heroes. We're going to get Jara, Oberon, Michelle, Valentino, King Barton, and Omivore. So the good news is we have an account that we'll be able to test our Oberon on. We'll definitely build another Jara on the Shadow Meme team. We have a Michelle ready to go on the Lights Army. We already have an account thanks to Sir Duck that has a fully like upgraded Omivore and another account that he has with a King Barton. So we can test all of those. The only one that we're looking for is Valentino. And surprisingly, I feel like Valentino might have the biggest opportunity to be useful in the meta because his stun synergy is insane. When other heroes use an active ability, he has a chance to stun. Um, I'm thinking like a V4 Valentino, a V4 Jara, and a bunch of energy feed Rogans could really destroy some stuff in Tower of Dream. It could be fun because he has a very high stun chance when allies use active abilities. And when you're using six active abilities a turn, you're putting multiple CCs on. They can only purify one thing a turn. He could be very meta. So Valentino could be huge. And lastly, for those of you guys in the U.S., Australia, I think it's Denmark, France, and, and Great Britain, uh, we have a triple play points weekend for Idle Heroes until 9-12. I don't know when it starts. It might not be until next week. It might be live now. You just check your Google Play Store. Anything you spend, you'll get three times the points, which means more coupons. So let me know what you guys think. I'm really excited to see the Celestial Island update. It's really going to power up everybody's accounts here. It's going to be really, really awesome. And I can't wait. The whole month of September, there's tons of new stuff coming. Tons of stuff to test out. Honestly, that third batch of Void Heroes seems pretty spicy to test. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you take one second hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And I'll see you guys next time.